I won't wreck a home. I'm not a home wrecker. Mm. But I will put a crack in a foundation. Hello, Hello and welcome, welcome to, to podcast, podcast But Outside. Outside. This is the world's first podcast. My name is Andrew. My name is, uh, I think maybe legally I have to say Cole. Cole. Because we're here. I don't know what I'm allowed to get away with. Sponsored by Patreon. We're here. We're going to do an episode of our show mm-hmm. on Pedicast. We're here at South by Southwest. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. If you've never heard of anything that I just said, get get ready because we're going to do all of it. Yeah. Oh, look, I didn't know I had my own food truck. What's it say, Austin? Jew Boy. <laughs> Cole does have his own food truck. It's called Jew Boy. What's up? What's up, man? What's going on? Where are you How going? You man, we out here. I'm out here from Atlanta. We at South yeah. by Southwest. Yeah, yeah, come follow us to the next yeah, stop. Man. Yeah, come come with us. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, where are you going? Just a couple blocks, I think. I you will from Niggaville, Zone 4, home of the motherfucking goats in the building. And we live South by Southwest, Austin, Texas. Yeah, yeah. All y'all say yeah one time. Let's go. Yeah! yeah. Where are you guys from? Atlanta. 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 All right. Yeah, Southside, right. right. born and raised, nice. Cascade. Nice. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Are you here for South by Southwest? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's the only reason why. You got a show tonight? Yeah. What do you guys do? Yeah, we rap. You rap? Yeah, we all rap. Oh, my God. Well, amazing. Well, me and him rapping, everybody, they, 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 they just like, you know what I'm saying, support that Yeah, if you want to rap, if you want to rap at any point, you can rap. I'll say that. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, no, we ain't doing that. All I mean is, he can do that. No, it's all good. So, where's your show tonight? At Teller's Bar and Grill. Okay. It's a little, uh, lounge downtown. Is your Austin. first time in town for South by Southwest? Yeah, this is my first That's time. Amazing. All the way from Atlanta. Can people find your music online? Yes, anywhere online. You can stream me on Apple Music at I Am Will. Okay. And you can look at me on Instagram at I Die and Will, four underscores, because you know I'm from the four. Because I am Will. Oh, oh, yeah, unfortunately, okay. Will I Am is I already took already. I got right. And you're just here to lay pipe, it seems. Okay. Have you laid any pipe since you've been here? We <laughs> 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 stay in Austin. What they say? All right, yeah. yeah. So you guys, yeah. Drive, you guys, you guys all drive here together? Yeah, yeah, we are. We are. Yeah. Four, yeah, yeah. That sounds yeah. like a fun kind of yeah. crazy yeah. car ride with you guys. Hey, yeah, hey, hey, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty fun. Yeah. 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 Damn. So how long have you guys all, it's the five of you, yeah? Yeah. yeah. How long have you all known each other? Hey, uh, we brought with hey. Gr- yeah. Brothers from your yeah, whole life. Yeah, yeah. Man. I've known him since, Brothers uh, from a different since same neighborhood. Y'all grew up in the same neighborhood? Same neighborhood. Wow. Same. Yeah. Hey. Wow. Mm-hmm. What neighborhood are you from in Atlanta? West End. West End, okay. All right, we've never been there. Tell us a little bit about your neighborhood. So basically, poverty, downtown Atlanta. Yeah. Poverty, downtown Atlanta. Yeah. We call it Niggerville. Okay. Not to make nobody uh, uncomfortable no, we and everything. we were going to say that too. We are going to say that too. Hey, you valid then for that. I respect it. But listen though, it, it was it was it like it was a neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Nothing yeah, yeah. but niggas. All we do is hoop, play basketball, yeah. get into trouble. You know wow. what I'm saying? But like making it out of there, people really don't come out. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. And yeah, we here making a difference, going so big you, on. So do you think music is the, is a good way to get out of that? Thanks. Right. Out of that. Perfect yeah. foundation for so. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Especially yeah. express so yourself. Is yeah. your music about that? I want to say my music is about a whole lot of things because like I'm still living life, you know what yeah, I'm saying? So yeah. my music is all based off what I'm going on, what I'm witnessing right now, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Telling stories. Basically. Yeah. 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 Man. What are you yeah, What are you going through right now? I mean, right now I'm going through really self-reflect. Mm. I've been, Elevation, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, all, that's all it is. Evolution. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We're going up. This, this, trying, this, this trying, is a growing stage. You're optimistic. So, yeah, that's you know. Awesome, trying man. to be better than what I was, not lie to myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, growth. Basically keep growth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Basically. That's amazing. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. Yeah. Huh. Uh, do, you have, are, do you guys have a lot of fans here? I got some streams out in Dallas, not okay. Austin, Texas. I got uh, after Dallas. Night, after the night, maybe. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 hey. 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 For business. <laughs> Have you guys traveled around to play music before in the past? Oh, yeah. yeah we, we went to uh, Seattle. Seattle. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm, I perform, mm. we performed out of Seattle. I won a little competition out there. Oh, congratulations. Or whatever. And I, uh, y'all can follow me. Everyone, uh, I am King Day. I am K-I-N-G-D. I ain't promote my stuff early. All right, yeah. all right, yeah, sounds you know, good. Everywhere, sounds good. all the social media. You got you know music on there, too? Yeah, yeah. for sure. All everywhere. Right. You can, look, whatever is music, you're you going to find it. I am King Day. Yeah, I heard you slide back in here, you know what I'm saying? My name E-A-T. Y'all find me. E-A-T. East Atlanta. 
Underscore on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? And do you we all play play music as well? We all you rap? Me, yes, sir. You guys rap together or you all separate? We rap together. We just, we rock together. We got songs together. We rock together, but we also got our own thing. Everybody got their own part. That's cool. And you're the manager? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody had their own. Everybody got their own yeah. So do you guys each, who who writes the lyrics, the words? Everybody oh, come on, what? We're more of like live entertainment when it comes to group. I, can, I mean, I felt that on the scooters already. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is and you stuck the mic out at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys got it real quick. Y'all can find me on Instagram, yeah. underscore, that's just Tay. Okay. Everywhere. Okay. Everywhere. 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 Underscore, that's All right, that sounds good. good. Yes, sir. Man, so what are you guys', what are some long-term goals with your music? What kind of stuff do you want to do? Um, just get play for more people, up. build it up. Empire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. See, a lot of folks, a lot of folks may say that they want to be like the next Drake. They want to yeah. be the next bitch thing. Yeah. My own thing is like I just want to make it to be comfortable. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Do it. You know what I'm saying? Do my own thing. Support now, yourself. Now if, if if it comes, sure. then it then it cool. You know what I'm saying? But. At the end of the day, I just want to make it to where goddamn I'm comfortable, folks enjoy my music, and you know what I'm saying, I'm just living life. You know make what I'm saying? Make stuff you're proud of, yeah, be comfortable. Yeah, if, 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 if I am, you know what I'm saying, sure, next sure. best thing, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? That That's my own thing. I like that. I like that. Huh. All right. I want, I want to say my long-term goal is really just to solely provide off my music. Yes, you know of what course. I'm saying? I want yes. music to be my source of income for yeah. everything to the yes. point where it makes everything else extra. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But. I'm really ultimately in it for the growth and the exposure. You know yeah. what I'm I just want to see how big I can get with doing this. Amazing. That's Basically, beautiful. No limit. Wow. I would say my goal, long term, I feel like I grew up with music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got a vision. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I just want to put as much music out there as I can. Inspire other people Inspire too. other people to make music. That's how I got into it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's the long term goal. I feel like no matter what walk of life you come from, you enjoy music. You know what I'm saying? Good music is good music, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's what I'm in it for. Just mm. to make a big catalog of the best music people ever heard. Okay. Mm. Like, you know Damn. Who are your musical inspirations? I listen to a lot of Lil Wayne growing up, a lot of Eminem. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I also branch out, I listen to a lot of Linkin Park. Mm. People don't understand that, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? Yeah. So I also listen to a lot of R&B. Rihanna was a big inspiration. Jasmine nice. Sullivan, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of different artists, you know what I'm saying, mixed in there. I took inspiration from everybody. Ludacris, <laughs> Gucci Mane, you, know, yeah. you understand, left and right. Is there a name for your crew? Do you guys have a name for your whole squad? Uh, because we are, we're working on it. Working on that, OK. All right, all right. That's the next Wait, thing. Wait, can I pitch something? What's up? The yeah. pipe layers. <laughs> pipe layers. Hey, <laughs> hold on, yo. Uh, you you might have came up. <laughs> You got a good eye, sir, because that's what you're Nah, nah, he trying, to, he trying to figure out some inside information. Yeah, he trying to get into it, man. man. It's not inside information, it's yeah, not his hat. It's outside, it's pretty I'm outside. Just you, know, hey, you gotta talk to him and go to get into it, y'all. I can let you know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's that's funny, man. Intuition. I like that one. Hmm. Yeah, sure. So how long are you here for? Just a few days? Yeah, we're just here for a few days. Like like you leaving tonight after the show? Driving back? Well, yeah, I'm, yeah. Here, I'm here till Saturday. I got a music video recorded. Oh, nice. Right. Nice, nice. But so you guys are driving. You're going to fly home? Oh, no, I'm riding back with... Uh, oh, you got another crew? Yeah. Damn. Damn. Big Mission. Big Mission had a studio session last night. Yeah. yeah. I'll cut you on the podcast. Don't be too shy. <laughs> so you're all still in Atlanta? You like you love the city of Atlanta. You, you connect with it. What as an outsider, what what is Atlanta all about? You gotta be doing your thing. Doing some. You gotta be willing to socialize. You ain't gonna make it nowhere just sitting in the house not talking to nobody. Right, right. You gotta right. ask questions. You gotta get out the house, talk to people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying that's the only way you're gonna get anything. Well, that's what we're all about. Is getting out of the house and talking to people. You know yeah. What I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. A lot yeah. of people go to Atlanta, get sent right back to whatever city they came from, cause they don't know how to handle it out there. Interesting. You know what I'm really. You know what I'm kinda... They get kicked right back out. Yeah, come out there. Your car get broken into. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know you guys grew up with that, though. You gotta know how yeah. to move. Yeah. You don't know how to move, you're gonna see the consequences. Know you know what I'm saying? Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I'm but proud of you, you guys for, you know, traveling, making music, doing Absolutely. your thing. Absolutely. I hope you yeah. achieve success, and I hope Absolutely. it's everything you want. Yeah. That's yeah. truly yeah. inspiring. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? We're making this happen. All this is straight out pocket, making me working hard. We yeah. all just made this happen just because we wanted to make the music Amazing. shine around everywhere. What's all your first saying? names? Can you tell us all your names real quick? Will. Will? Uh, Day. Day. Mike. Mike. Tay. D. Will, Tay, Mike. No, 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 no,
I guess, yeah. do you have any other questions, Cole? No, thanks you for sitting down. You guys were such great energy. We loved it. It's an amazing, it was so much fun. Good luck with your fun. show tonight. Yeah, so you each get a dollar and a sticker. We pay, we pay everyone a dollar, you get a dollar and a sticker. Yeah. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is my first paid interview. There you go. Yeah, yeah, first of many. Yeah, first of many. Bike safe around town. Shout out to you guys. Thank you all so much. Yeah, take care. Have a good one. Wow. Incredible. Wow. Best energy possible. Yeah, that's what you want in Austin. You want a slice of Atlanta, you know? Yeah. It's time to thank one of our sponsors, and that is Factor. Factor. Eat stress-free this spring with Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals. Every fresh, never-frozen meal is chef-crafted, dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. Choose from a weekly menu of 35 options, including popular options like Calorie Spark, Keto, Protein Plus, or veggie, or Vegan and Veggie. Also discover more than 60 add-ons every week, like breakfast, on-the-go lunch, snacks, and beverages to help you stay fueled and feel good all day long. Okay, you love this stuff, Cole. It's just... You know, just, no, BS. Out, no BS. No BS. I've been using this for years. You've spent thousands of dollars on this stuff. It's true. You love it. It's true. It's I the do best. love it. It's, I, how, it's how you get most of your nutrition. Abs every Can you just stand dinner. up and show what you look like? If you like the way Cole's body and face is looking, this is mostly factor because you've been eating yeah. this for years. Yeah. It's been two years. I, yeah. eat it, I eat at least one meal a day. Yes. And often more. Often more. So Usually this is kind of what, if you want to look kind of like this and do all the stuff that he's doing, you got to get this stuff. Yeah, and for the listeners, um, I look good. He uh, looks awesome. Good. I look good. They're gourmet meals. They're really delicious. They're so easy to make. Tailored to your schedule, you customize your plan. It delivers to your door. I see these boxes all the time in the driveway. And Cole is always eating and looking awesome. And you know, specifically, I love their protein shakes, actually, okay. because I looked it up, and like, there's like no other... They have the highest protein per shake with the lowest calories. It's only 200 calories. And I've compared to like all other protein shakes and stuff. And I have one every morning with a banana, and it's perfect. Okay, anyway. Head, head to, to factormeals.com slash PBO50. And use code PBO50. To get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box. That's code PBO50 at factormeals.com slash PBO50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. This stuff is so good for Cole and it's so good for you. Check it out, fam. Please. We all know there are things in your life that you have to compromise on, like getting an avocado at the place. Or getting an avocado at other place. Or do an avocado or not at the place you go. Or... My house. But when it comes to your health, there is no compromise. Uh -uh. So don't go back to that one doctor who uses your appointment to catch up on the latest gossip in the neighborhood just because they're available right now or because they take your slightly sketchy insurance. Instead, check out ZocDoc, the place where you can find and book doctors who will make you feel comfortable, listen to you, and prioritize your health. And you can search by location, availability, and insurance. So literally no compromises here because with ZocDoc, you've got more options than you know. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. These docs all have verified reviews from actual real patients. We're talking about booking appointments with tens of thousands of top rated patient reviewed credible doctors and specialists. And you can filter by who takes your insurance. I've used this before yeah. they sponsored us. I use this to find doctors. Yeah. It's easy. When you're trying to find health care, it helps to find what people thought of the person you're about to see. Mm -hmm. Do they stinky? Do they stinky? Do they smelly? Do they stinky or smelly? You need to know, and the reviews might get into that. Mm -hmm. And ZocDoc is so easy and free and convenient. I use this, and you should too. Go to ZocDoc.com outside and download the ZocDoc app for free. free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash outside. outside. ZocDoc.com slash outside. Take care of your health. Find a good doctor. It be good. It be good. It don't be smelly. Eighth Street. You know what they say about Eighth Street? Uh, no. Uh, I was hoping you did. No. Oh, you just kind of wanted some gossip. Well, yeah. I was hoping you had some insight. No, I have no idea. Oh, you know, just littering the streets. Saw Peso Puma last night. You saw what? Peso Puma last night. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Rock That's on. That's awesome. Man. Rock on. See ya. What the fuck is that shit? This, we have a, a special CEO. guest, a surprise guest. Jack, please sit down. Hey, sit, please.
Yeah, we did. This is Jack, who is the CEO of Patreon. You might be the first CEO we've ever, have we ever talked to a CEO? Wow. Uh, we're CEOs. I guess we are, we are actually. No, you're the CEO, I'm oh, the yeah. secretary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, of our corporation, I am the vice president and secretary. Yeah. Um, so you started Patreon how long ago? Uh, almost 11 years now. Wow. And you're an artist, you're a musician. I'm a creator, I'm a musician. So you yeah. started it because you were like, I wish this existed, basically. Yes, it was. Which is, I think, the best businesses start from that, from a need, per right? Personal need, exactly. Yeah, it's just like, why why am I getting millions of views on my videos right. and making $140 of ad revenue? Right, uh, um, right, right. Which is pretty fucked up and needs to change. Yeah. What were some other potential names for Patreon? Oh God, this is the worst one. <laughs> I made a Google Doc and I actually checked the, the um, you know how you can go and like look at your your history of Google Docs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like check the history yeah, of the yeah. timestamps. Uh -huh. I made it, I think at at 9:01 p.m. Okay. Uh -huh. And then I checked my GoDaddy receipt, and it was like 9:37 p.m. Uh -huh. like that same day. Yeah. So like I brainstormed for literally like half hour. Oh, and then you yeah. bought Patreon. And then I bought Patreon.com. Oh my god. And some of the other names were like oh so embarrassing. This is the most of it. Um, Cowplum was Cow one of the ideas. Uh, new patron. Was that one of the ideas? Uh, uh, yeah, there were like a bunch of dumb names. Why cow plum? I like cows, and at the time I was living next to a um, tree. I was living on, like on unincorporated farmland, like in like hours north of San Francisco, oh. in a in a in a little uh, house, and um, and we shared a a fence with a 52 acre cow pasture. And there were just cows and I would feed them every day and I loved cows, wow. so that's why. So how have you transitioned your own, I don't know, almost personality from being just like an artist making art to being a CEO of like an important tech company? Like, do, do you feel like your identity has shifted in yourself? Or that's do you feel like, like you're the same person? Dude, that is one of the deepest, hardest questions. <laughs> okay, I'm and sorry. And probably the thing that I talk to my therapist about okay. the most. Okay, I'm sorry to dig deep, I just, cause I, because it's interesting, because I feel like you know, I mean, Steve Jobs kind of is in a similar sense where he was like, you know, I, a lot of these companies, like I just read the book from the Nike co-founder. I don't yeah. know if you've read that book. I haven't read it, but it's I heard really, great really good. It's yeah, really, really good. It's really interesting. And it's interesting because it's like, Nike is what you think of as like one of the biggest brands in the world. And his whole book is just like, I was just like a young scrappy kid, like making these shoes in my house. And then like, or not, he didn't make them in his house, but like, you know, working out of his garage or whatever, that whole kind of Silicon Valley story. And then all of a sudden you're representing this giant thing that yeah. so many people rely on their you know, income, even for you, even more so, because there's all these creators as well. So, yeah. yeah. The, so, how do you sleep at night? It's it's the, <laughs> it is it is like the hardest problem is right, to um, because right. I think the thing that makes Patreon special is that I am a YouTuber. Right, right, right. I'm not right, right. like yeah. I, I you know a lot of like tech companies are founded by like engineers or product managers and they like come yes, up, exactly, you know, exactly. And then they like you know find a market and then go tackle it. And like, yeah, they study marketing just, in school and whatever. And that's like not where paid. That's, of course, that's, I, don't, I don't get that vibe at all. And so, you know, I think like it's it's so trite to say be yourself and mm. be true to yourself. The longer I have operated and and like been inside the company and been building and doing all that, the, the less trite that message has sounded and the mm. more deep and real it is. Mm. I, I think like for the first, you know, chunk of time I was like, you know, I have a growth mindset. I want to get better at things, I, just like creators, right? I want to get better and better every time I make something, every time I try, you know, I want to learn from that. Mm -hmm. And there's a tendency to like stretch, at least for me, to like stretch beyond what makes me, me, like as a person. Mm. And so maybe one of the deepest lessons is actually like, don't stretch too far. Mm -hmm. Like stay to the stay core. Stay true to yourself. <laughs> and like, and, and so I've, I've like, you know, I've worked very hard to like, remember who I am and try to be very principled and okay. try to stay, you know, I'm, I'm still an active creator, come out with a hundred music videos a year, spend time Whoa. on that, spend time with creators, like trying to like really lean into those things got it, got it. as opposed to trying to like become the, the tech CEO, right, right, which right. was my initial impulse. And I think was, um, misguided. Are you, has there any, has there been anyone who signed up for Patreon that you were previously like a fanboy of that you're like, Oh my God, I can't believe they joined my thing. So many. Oh, wow. yeah. oh my God. Um, Starfucker. 
Wheezy oh, yeah. Raider. Yeah. Uh, I, know, I know the Starfucker guys, actually, because I grew up in Portland. Right? Oh, really? I went to college in Portland. Yeah, I know Man, those guys. Man, that fucking band. Yeah, they're awesome. I, just, I love them. Yeah, they're um, great. Yes, when they joined, I was like, oh my god. When Amanda Palmer launched, I lost my mind. Um, there's this uh, new group of YouTubers called the the New Wave. Do you guys know the uh, New Wave? I've heard. They sound familiar. Um, folks like Natalie Lynn and, and Wholesome Simon and, and Max Reisinger and like all these creators. And a, a couple of them have set up Patreon pages, which has been amazing. Cool. Um, so so yes, seeing those folks um, launch a Patreon has been great. Mm -hmm. And then like honestly, every month there's like new podcasters that I follow. Like there's this there's this one podcast called um, uh, the End of Civil uh, Fall of Civilizations podcast. A little bit of a dark subject, but goddamn the research you is so him. good. Great. This guy's so deep and such a good historical thinker. And yeah, seeing him be on Patreon was like insane. Cool. So and maybe yes. and us maybe. Probably us. A little, uh, oh, oh, when you guys launched, I was like, Huge. oh my god. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, do you, do you tour still, uh, playing music, or so is that part of your life over? I, I have a I have a full time job now. I know, um, I know. But so here's the interesting thing: you gotta thing. be like, a rock star still. So, so both bands are, are active touring bands, and actually both bands have hired teams and are now like each band is like a profitable Some like thing. Yeah, thing. yeah. Um, and but I know so is. what's the other band? Sorry. The other band is called Scary Pockets, okay, which it, is like a funk it. a funk band. Got it. And um, and so I play shows. Mm -hmm. um, but I no, I can't like go away for you're two not, weeks. You're not off. Yeah, so we hire a keyboard player way. when when those bands go on tour, Got and um, and and they take my place, which is like, God, mm -hmm. that's the fun part, and yeah, it like kind of kills me inside. You're, you're yeah. watching Instagram, yes. getting jealous. I literally, I'm like following my own band <laughs> yeah. on Instagram and watching them fucking play Europe, and I'm like, God damn it! Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you ever write songs about Patreon? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I have not published them. Wait, that really? Is cool. <laughs> yes. Uh, what, what, what are, what's some of the, what's the, what's the uh, chorus? Or no, not that the... Well, I'm not going to tell you the lyrics, okay. but, but maybe... What's the vibe? I, the, I, I write songs, well, I've found like when I write songs is, is when I'm struggling, right? Yeah, like yeah. that's, that's like mm. the song is, is me making sense of my life. And, um, and you know, building a company is like very hard. It's right. like emotionally very difficult. Um, and there's like lots of ups, lots of downs, yeah. lots of like, it's just a, an emotionally intense ride. And so, yeah, what's really weird is like, I've written songs about that struggle. And the thing is like, they're not relatable at all. Which is why <laughs> I haven't published them. You should, you, should like, come, you should release an album called Songs for CEOs. Yeah, yeah. great. And then like just fucking, just, 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 everybody would hate me. About the CEO <laughs> like, why is this like CEO complaining about shit? Fuck this guy. Um, it's, it's, sad, sad songs for CEOs. Exactly. For sad CEOs. Yeah, my market is eight people. <laughs> It's like indie rockers who who have become <laughs> yes. CEOs. Are there other indie rockers who became CEOs? No, <laughs> just you. Okay, so it's just for so you. So my market is one person. It's just it's you. Me. Wow. That's <laughs> amazing. Wow. I'd love to hear it sometime. Yeah, well, yeah, we'd love to to get it inside. You should put it on Patreon. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah. Ultimate tier. You have to give you a million dollars yeah. a month just I'll, to listen to this song. I'll, I'll pay wallet behind behind uh, a yeah. million dollars. Yeah. There we go. That's funny, huh? Yeah. Well, congratulations on everything you created. We're happy to be a part of it. Thank and you guys so much for being is, here. It truly is like you. you know, I have so many friends who can afford their lives because of the platform you built, and they're just artists who are creating stuff that connects with a community that is not huge, but is enough to support them, and that's big, you know. Fuck yes, man. That's yeah, why that's we like do what big, we do. Yeah. yeah, that's a really big thing. Yeah. Huh. Thanks, do you have any? Guys. I, I know that, you know, you're still figuring out your own identity in this world, but what is advice to someone who wants to do something that feel, is in the business world where they're like, I don't know how to even start with something like that? Like uh, somebody who wants to do business or wants or to do someone creativity? Someone who like, wants to do, like, I don't know, like starting a company, for example. Like what, what are starting some a brand. Starting a brand, a company, like what's something that you've learned, like this is crucial to know? I, I, I would, I would... So I'm gonna have biased advice. Here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, first of all, don't follow my fucking advice. Yeah. Um, second of all, don't call it plum pig or whatever. Yes, yes. <laughs> Cow plum. Um, Cow plum. <laughs> I think a lot of the time, I, I don't know. My, my sense of this is like, if you if you really care about yeah. a problem that you want to solve, if there's something that really matters to mm. you deeply, that is like, that feels like it's just must be fixed because it's not right, and you want to make it right then start a company. Mm. But I think the, like the wrong, there, there's so many other reasons to start a company. And honestly, it's so, like unless, the, unless there is a purpose behind the work that is emotionally relevant and can, can slingshot you through t a decade of hard times and ups and downs, blah, blah, blah. Like then just, then don't do it. Like unless mm. it's something that really matters and is important to you, mm. I would say actually like, don't right because um, I don't think there's really any other reason you've been passionate about this cause the whole time and that's yeah. what carried you through just like yeah 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 that makes sense cool I agree
And how about you guys? What's the reason to start a podcast? Just, um, the chicks. The chicks. <laughs> No, uh, just like, um, I don't know, wanting to talk to people and wanting to, I mean, for for us, for me personally, like I have a hard time with self-promotion and like it, things being all about me. And I like that this podcast is about the people that we talk to. And it's like, I'm, you know, we're doing a good job of facilitating this, but ultimately we're about, you know, raising voices of people that wouldn't otherwise be heard in this type of medium and hearing stories that would never be told. And I don't know, just trying to connect to humans in a way that feels authentic and real. Do you feel like there are some creators who don't struggle with self-promotion? Do you feel oh, unusual? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. And, and those are the successful. ones that succeed. Those are the ones that succeed. Really? So, yes. so okay, so why why do they what what is it that what is it about you guys that makes you not want to do that versus them where they're fine doing it? Do you know what I I'm don't saying? know. I don't shamelessness? know. Shamelessness. <laughs> it's a shamelessness thing. Yeah. Which is interesting because I would say that an important part of being a comedian or a comedic person, I think, is a certain sense of self-awareness. But there are certainly comedians I know who don't seem to have that mm. and are doing really well. Mm. And why, why be outside? Because that's where people are. Mm. Strangers are outside. Inside, it's just people you know. It's your same community. Does it change the nature of the interview to have it be outside? Does yeah. it change how people act? I think yeah. so. In I think way? there's a certain people have their guard down because they're just in the world and they don't know what we're. And also, they think we are completely illegitimate. They think we're like two college students and we film on an iPhone. It's very low key, specifically to put people's guard down. And then we want them to overshare and then later realize, oh, they have a platform and then maybe want us to take it down. But we usually kind of keep it up if possible. We just try to convince them. How often does that happen where somebody's like, oh my God, I didn't realize once a month. this was real. Really? Oh yeah, once or twice a month, someone will email us and say, oh my God, I didn't realize you guys had a following. I, I don't want this to be out there. And then we're like, look, you didn't say anything bad. Can we please keep this up? I promise it's not as big as you think. And then usually they will say yes. But if someone wants us to take it down, we will. We're not trying to make ruin someone's life. And what do you guys want to do? With, like, where does where do you want to go? Do you think about like where you want podcasts outside to be in five years? I want to travel years? internationally, personally. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> you know, he doesn't like yeah. travel. But I, I would like, like to do this in other countries. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't care about that. Um, but we have. I don't know. We we, we want to delve into the TV world and do more of a heightened version. It would be a travel show. Yeah, yeah. we're um, like currently in the process of pitching like a TV show, kind of based on our live show in this kind of wow, way. Wow, like to a studio or like we have a production company that we love that is we're currently pitching to networks and trying to figure it out. Yeah. yeah. And the idea is you guys travel around, interview people on the street. Well, we have like a live show it. where we interview people on stage, but the way we do it is it's Cole and I on stage, and then we have our third person who's like a young Gen Z intern guy. He's very funny and charismatic. He leaves the venue, goes live on Instagram. So, he, so it's like a venue of us, like 300 people audience or whatever. Then he's outside in the street, live on Instagram, inter finding random people in the streets around the venue, going into bars, restaurants, coffee shops, even like businesses. and. We're watching that on stage the whole time. He's he's it's, on the street finding a people. There's screen, big screen behind, big screen behind us, us. So we and can then he will him. he will bring people to the venue. So there's it's someone for an just interview. It's for an interview. Someone's just like living their life, you know, trying to walk to get dinner, and then all of a sudden they're in front of hundreds of people chanting their name because we've just watched him find them on the street, and we've had the most fun and the craziest things have happened yeah. to us in that. It's the best version of what we do. Yeah. And so, but but they know. They, or, they, or they don't They know. basically see a random 23-year-old guy in a suit with, with an, an iPhone. iPhone, like, hey, you want to come be interviewed? They don't know what they're walking into. Then there are hundreds of people chanting their name, and they're like, what have I walked into? Because they're on stage at the venue. Oh, so they actually do come, come inside, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they see people. And yeah, yeah, and then they're like, what is this? And then how long are they there? 10 and or 15 minutes. And we've talked to like, I mean, we've had so many weird situations. Do we they talk, freak out? They must freak oh, yes. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, they're like, what is this? And we're like, it's a cult, don't worry about yeah. it. <laughs> like we had a guy who came in in New York at the Bell House and he was like a young, like Hispanic uh, car mechanic who was working down the street. And he was, he was like, he was late to his anniversary dinner with his girlfriend who kept calling on, him. Cause he was on, <laughs> cause he was on stage, stage with us. They were like, we're like, what's this dinner? He goes, I'm like, how long have you been with your girlfriend? And he's like, about a year. I'm like, is this anniversary dinner? He's like, no. I'm like, is it? He goes, yeah. Oh my, you like, guys he, are ruining lives. Ruining yeah. lives. That's great. We, yeah. In Oakland, we had a young, two young guys in their twenties came on stage and they were talking about growing up together and going to middle school and high school together. Their high school English, English teacher was in the audience and she yelled out and then she came on stage just randomly. And, and it was like so many weird cosmic things have happened. Yeah. Anyway, so we're trying to create a TV show based on that. And then do you have a sense of like, like 10 years from now, what you want it to look like? Like, is it like two years from now? Is it 10 years from now? Like in how two do you... years we want to have made that TV show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Two years, make a TV show. That's our goal. Full time. Yeah, that's yeah. our goal. Yeah. yeah, love that. But yeah. in the meantime, 
We're out here on the streets and we're on Patreon. <laughs> yeah, love that. Thank you, Jack. Thanks for talking to Thank us. Thank you guys just, for- You know, we give everyone a dollar and a sticker and you're no different. CEOs get a dollar too. I think ultimately- What, really? I get yeah, a dollar and a sticker for talking? Okay, talking to us. I'll take it. Thank wow, you, those are actually sweet stickers. Oh, thanks. Thank thanks, guys. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It is? Yeah, and what's the first thing you'd do if you had an extra hour in your day, Cole? Let's say the day had 25 hours. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Probably sleep because I'm sad. Wrong. You would actually do therapy. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That may be and, more beneficial. Yeah, and yeah. in therapy, I think you would actually find out how to spend your time more wisely. Mm. Because figuring out how to prioritize your own schedule is about prioritizing what's important to you. And the way you can find out what's important to you in your life is through talking to someone about the things that you care about. Yes. Yeah, you know, I've realized that talking about things helps. Yeah. You can find out what matters to you so you can do more of it. Have you, you talked, right? Uh, sometimes. Yeah. If I'm not sleeping. Right. But when you're awake? When I'm awake, yeah, sometimes I talk. And the, the better help is fully awake, right? It's like an awake... You're I think you. I think you, they you're require awake. you to be awake. awake yeah. yeah. And that's what's great about it. Um, it's a convenient and easy way to do therapy, to find it, to fit into your life. I do therapy every week. It's unbelievably helpful. I absolutely love it. Um, I highly recommend if you're out there struggling with anything, which we all are, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash outside today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash outside. Take care of yourself. Take care of your health and your help with you, BetterHelp. You do have to be awake for it, but I think it's worth it. It's worth it. This episode is sponsored by Blue, Blue Chew. Chew. Let's talk about sex. People call us sex guys. Yeah, they have recently. Since yeah, because we, we recently very learned recently what sex got, was, got into it. We've got we've become experts, or yeah. as they call it, intercourse spurts. Yes, and you remember when we first got into sex, right? Yeah, yeah. we were always ready to go. Yeah, but then we started having problems <laughs> on like day two. Yeah. <laughs> well now. <laughs> Now you can increase your performance and get the extra confidence in bed. Uh -huh. <laughs> Listen up, BlueChew.com. Mm -hmm. BlueChew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, sleeping or awake. Well, well maybe not sleeping. No. I tried to take one when I was sleeping. No, he woke right up. I woke right up. You go to Blue Chew, you consult with one of their licensed for medical professionals, and once you're approved, you'll receive a prescription within days. It comes in the mail. It's a discreet package. No doctor's office. No awkward conversations. And these things work. These are prescriptions that will help give you that confidence that you need in bed. You could be missing out on the best sex of, of your, your life. life. Like when we were first getting into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like last week. Last week. Yeah, yeah. Day three. Yeah, day three. Got really bad. But four, yeah. five, six, we were, we were, yeah, yeah, we're, we're back, back in into action. It. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex like you did on day one, discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try BlueChew free when you use our promo code OUTSIDE at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code OUTSIDE, outside to receive your first month, first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank BlueChew for sponsoring this episode. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Now we're with our friend Dulce Sloan. Hi, Dulce. Hello, buddy. How are you? Hello. 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 Um, Stand-up comedian, daily show correspondent, mm -hmm. and now member of our podcast. Dun, dun, dun. It's so funny that um, y'all have this because uh, years ago I wanted to do a podcast called Pop Up Porch. Okay, that's so similar. Big, yeah, yeah. You yeah. pull up to someone's house, like a nice southern porch situation. Yes. Ooh. And then every single person was like, no, you cannot do a podcast outside. It makes too much People fun. said that to us. Yeah, yeah. He tried to pitch this years ago, and yeah. everyone said no. And now we've been doing it for five years, and it's successful, and it's fine. And, Damn yeah. it. and the audio is fine. Let People are haters. People are haters. Haters. Don't be Did a you hater. grow up in porch culture? I mean, true. I'm a fine Southern woman. Yeah. And so I literally want to just pull up on people, like, set up a table. Yeah. We've got a little beverage, because you can't eat on a podcast. But here's a little tea. Here's a little beverage to sip and then just chop it up. But was, was your porch a big part of your childhood? I mean, yeah, just sitting outside, just seeing yeah. what's going on. Um, it's very much that. So I think our challenge for today is to find someone who is not here for South by Southwest. I want to find a local Austin person mm. who is gives us the real down low. Mm. Like, hey, how are you? We missed, hey, oh. Definitely has a badge on. Yeah, I, I know that they, I could tell that they're not the right person, but they were someone. Wait, is that the car where the guy wanted to talk to us? No, I think that's still safe. That's car. my car. Oh, that's your car. I like your driver. I'd like to talk to your driver. Is he cool? Bobby? <laughs> that looks like the guy we want to talk to. Can we? Yeah, could the driver? Yeah. Would Mr. You, Bobby? Was he cool? Yeah. You want to come for an interview? Would you interview? 
Yeah, Bobby! He laughed so hard. I like him. <laughs> if he wants to. I mean, to me, he seems like, we've done this show for five years, yeah. and what we found, honestly, is like, young people are boring, they have nothing to say. Yes, they're very... They're, they're all the same. They're, yes. they're, they, they, they read the same shit you read on Twitter. They don't know anything about the world. You want to talk to people who have lived a life, who have something to contribute. Hey, how are you? Wait, so you're, uh, how, how's life on The Daily Show? It's fine. Fun. It's fine. Do you travel a lot to do correspondence stuff, or are you more Not in studio? Not as much. I um, I go back. I live in LA now, so I go back and forth. Oh, okay. So I do in studio stuff for the show, but I'm doing um, I do the voice of a cartoon. Um, I do the voice of Honey Bee on the Great North on Fox. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've heard that's really good. So it's been very fun. We're recording our fifth season. Um, he ain't having it. He ain't having it at all. Yeah. Um, and then I wrote a book. Really? Yeah. Tell us about the book. Hello, friends. Stories of dating, destiny, and day jobs. Mm. Do you mention me in it? Um, <laughs> you are in the dedication. Oh, sweet. So just because even though we hadn't met yet, I knew you'd be significant in my life. Yeah, oh, thank you. You know, I'm just here to help. Oh. Um, How was the process of writing a book? It's long and it's ridiculous. How long did um, it take? Took a year. Wow. And I didn't want to do it, but my manager tricked me. Wow. When um, you say a year, like how many hours a day? Well, it was like I was still doing like the Daily Show and the cartoon yeah, doing yeah. stand up. So I was like, okay, let me figure out this day if I could do this. And so I was like working with somebody just trying to get my like thoughts down and everything and understand everything. But like when I say like my manager like tricked me, like he called me and was like, hey, would you want to write a book? And I was like, no, that sounds hard. <laughs> and he was like, well, what if we just take a meeting? And I was like, I'll take a meeting for anything. And so he took one meeting and then four meetings later, he was like, hey, you sold a book. Damn. Um, now you got to write it. Damn. So like I said, bamboozled, hood, winked. But um, it was a very interesting process. Um, I called Michelle Buteau because, you know, she wrote her book. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ma'am, how do I do this? Yeah. And she told me to start with stories that were too long for me to tell on stage. Got it. It's so like, like a backbone. It's, right. It's yeah, the backbone yeah. everything. Because <laughs> I was like, because I didn't want it to be funny. So I was like. All stories on stage was like, this is too long or you need too much context yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I started from there and then I was like, okay, well, people want to know about my childhood and people want to know about like Daily Show. So like the Daily Show chapter is called, I'm not a writer on the Daily Show. Right. Because none of the correspondents are writers yeah, on the right, Daily right, Show. Right, right. But every single comedian, right. especially the ones in New York, thinks that that's what you do. <laughs> thinks that all day I write on the Daily Show and I'm a correspondent. Yeah. It's not true. I... I'm either working on a current piece or just sitting in my office. It's like you're on call at all times. Right, 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 right. So. Okay. And um, the book come out? Sorry. The book came out February the 6th. Have people responded to it well? Have you gotten I some good so. feedback? I've gotten, it's interesting. Like I made the mistake of reading like some early reviews. And we all know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not read reviews. I'm sorry I wrote those, by the way. It's okay. It's I just, okay. I had a lot to say. <laughs> I mean, listen, the, the picture of the woman you used. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I hope it was I a stock that. photo. It was Otherwise, AI. you just, it I mean. AI. It better be, or you stole some, um, <laughs> No, like, are people kind of, does it feel like, I don't know, I feel like people connect with literature in a way that's different than, like, entertainment, you know, well, like, right. well, emotionally. It, well, it's funny, because, like, I wanted the book to sound like I was having a conversation with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that was the tone that I wrote the book in, was, like, somebody was like, well, it was just like, okay, girl, let me tell you what happened, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 And it's funny, because, too, the reviews that I saw were, like, this lady was like, she didn't enjoy it, she didn't enjoy it, she didn't like it. But she gave me, like, three stars, she's like, it was great, but she's like, it was fine, but, like, I didn't like the fact that it was, she didn't like the fact that it felt like I was talking to her. Which is what you were trying to do. <laughs> and then this other, and the next review underneath it was like, five stars, I loved it. I felt like we were just sitting down having a conversation. So it was funny because like one woman loved that aspect of it. Mm. And then another lady was like, I don't like it. I'm like, what did you want, a textbook? Like how? That, but I think if you're doing good art, it connects with people in a way that it also disconnects with other people. Like I think some people really love something about something and someone else can hate something about something and it shows yeah. that you're doing something that has a point of view. Well, the thing that was interesting was like, I did what I achieved. Right, exactly. You and tried so to do like, something. I did the yeah, thing yeah, 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 and yeah, you yeah. saw the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You recognize the thing, but your, one person's reaction to it yeah. wasn't the other person's reaction to it. But I did achieve the goal of what right. I was trying right. to do. Right, it's like you're just not into this You're just not into thing. this. Yeah, yeah, it's not your fault. That's cool. All right. So you feel like you're proud. I'm happy that you did it. Congratulations. Thank you. It's an achievement. Thank you. And people can buy it online or wherever. They can get it wherever. Uh, what the fuck? We can get it anywhere books are sold. Did you it's do the Audible? Book. Did you do like an audio I version? I did. And it's so interesting because it's like. Thank God. I was reading. I don't know, how to, so I don't know how to read. <laughs>
I love him. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. I want him to stop. I want to hang out with him today. Yeah, he's we cool. We try to get him. Flag him down. Oh, you think you're going to get him on tape? <laughs> <laughs> he's too fast. <laughs> too fast, too furious, too, too loud. cool white man in a Lexus. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, we love a Tyler, don't we? We do. We, we love are, a white man with only black friends. Yeah. Are, are any of these people trying to talk to us? Are like, what did they do? I mean, it's... it's the thing I realized at South by is you see people with these like platinum badges on. They cost like close to two thousand dollars. Everyone has them on, and just like, what did you? do All these today? people send emails. That's their whole job. Right. Every single person that you see on the streets of Austin, their whole job is sending emails, except for these two guys holding the cameras. Every other person in this town, they send emails. Yeah. That's okay. every job in America. I've noticed ever since I've landed, I've just been sending a bunch of emails. Yeah, yeah, because he's, he's living that kind of tech Austin yeah, lifestyle. Yeah. He's sending lots of emails. Hey, I mean, when I find, you talk hey, to you want to talk to us? We'd love to interview yeah. you. No, but that show sucks. It's canceled. Oh. Everything's canceled. Everything's it's all canceled. over. Um, are you dating right now? I wish. Why? Why aren't you then? Um, great question. If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't work. Um, no, oh. I don't know why I'm not. It's, it's just men get intimidated by my job. Mm. That's the main thing. Mm. So it's, are you talking about normie non-entertainment men or men in entertainment? Uh, both. What, okay. Who would you rather date? I would date a man who's entertainment adjacent. Ah. Uh, so like, like, like one of them. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, what would have to like something like um, like either like an agent or like entertainment lawyer or uh, like an okay. accountant. Who gets it but isn't trying yeah, to yeah, yeah. right. Who gets it? On your shine. Or yeah. or some man who owns a um, commercial construction company. Yeah. Yeah. Because I used to sell stucco, so like Whoa. these cranes and shit and over here, Whoa. somebody is paying for this. Like this is someone's job. Yeah. yeah. And so like when it comes to residential construction, the business is very fluctuates so much with the housing market. Yeah. But like you're always gonna need a Walmart, you're always gonna need a Target, you're always gonna need an office building, you're always gonna need an apartment building. Yeah. Like that business always continues, even when there's like recessions, you might do less. Yeah. yeah. But you're still always going to work. Interesting. So you want to date like someone who has money. a stable, yes, a stable, stable job, stable money. Someone with a very, very stable job because mine goes up and down, but it's um. What's up, guys? What are you doing? You want to say hi? Oh. I'm really surprised man. by how like close people are walking yeah. to us when they could just walk. Well, I'll tell you, if I had a mic way. in my hand, I could get the next person walking by. Really? Here yeah, is. definitely. Give him my mic. I will. Give him my mic. Cole's good at that. He's better than I'm me. I'm good. Hey. Yes. Come! You must! We're desperate! Come here, yeah, sit right in that stool! Perfect! See, Just I a quick you. interview, I'm an just expert. quick. Oh, Whoa, forcing it on your. Yeah, do you yes. want to do what? Wife? Wife style? She has better answers. You have better answers? Uh, for what? What do, you do, what do you do? Why does he think that you are going to contribute something better to this than he would? I don't know. Oh, no, you don't know. What's your name? I'm Paige. 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 Hello, Paige. What are you in Austin what? for? Just. Short vacation. Short vacation. Not South by Southwest. Uh, we're we're here for that too, but Adjacent. you know, we're just came down to say hey from where? Kansas City. Ooh. Kansas City. Yeah. I was in Kansas City two months ago, and I can tell you when I landed, I didn't know where the hell I was <laughs> because yeah. I knew where because I, like, I was doing the Comedy Club of Kansas City, and so the comedy it's in Kansas City, Missouri. But then my hotel yeah. was in Kansas City, Kansas. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit, did I fly into the wrong one? And then you find out it's one city, two yeah. states. Yeah. yeah. And I got on stage and I kept going, this could have been Kansas City, Kansas, and Missouri City, Missouri. You didn't have to do this to be bald. I know. Yeah. yeah. Kansas sucks. Is there beef between the two sides? No. No, you don't know what side you're on. You don't know, it's just the same. You can literally cross the street, like okay. up the street from the club. It was like, pretty, oh, yeah, I want to go to the gas station. It's in Kansas. And then across the street is a Wells Fargo that's in Missouri. <laughs> are there like, any, the roads is called are the state there, line. Are there any big differences between the two states, like with laws or taxes? Or I anything? know, yeah. Yeah. Really? yeah. Everything's um, really the Missouri side. The laws and taxes are definitely different. Like alcohol laws are a little different. bit different. Isn't weed legal in one state and not the other? Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? It's legal in Missouri, but not in Kansas. So you could be smoking weed on the corner, but if the weed blows over in the other state, you get arrested immediately. Well, but I guess your body. Like, <laughs> your body. Just like, <laughs> yeah. no, legal, if someone on the other yeah, side yeah. accidentally <laughs> inhales it, though, they're, they're fine. <laughs> uh, wait, what do you guys do? Uh, I'm an engineer. engineer. Oh, what do you engineer? Uh, roads. 
That's cool. Yeah, That's cool. For what do you think of these roads? Yeah, how are they? Uh, they're, it's interesting to, to see a different state and how they do stuff because it's always different from are there any like, new technologies in roads? What's the future of roads? What's the new asphalt going to be like? Yeah, what's the like? new asphalt? <laughs> what's asphalt 2.0? Are there computer chips in it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is South by. Tell us about the future of asphalt. Where <laughs> is your boot? <laughs> yeah. I well, won't get in on it's all. It's not, nothing new is coming she can't our way? Tell us. Yeah, they're making more like permeable pavement so that water doesn't just sit on top. OK. Have you guys heard the idea that like if all cities were like asphalt and roofs were white instead of instead of dark. They save like ten percent of um, electricity on cooling and heating. I hadn't heard that. Because white does because white doesn't absorb that heat makes in the sense. same way. Yeah. Like no, it, it would just get sunburned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it would get sunburned. It, 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 there's a problem there. But no, it would be like a huge change to the amount of electricity. Right, but if need. the roads were white, the sun bounces off of it. We'd be blind. Every it time probably we drove. yeah. You there might be more accidents, but yeah, infrastructure, but. Electricity costs would go down. Well, we don't want to tell you. You guys seem like you absolutely do not want to be here. So we want to say thank you for sitting down. <laughs> we love it. We love it. Okay, no. Have great no, no, you guys are great. <laughs> Kansas City's great. You're doing a great job. We learned all about yeah. you guys. I had a story. You yeah. had a moment. There's a dollar sticker for each of you. Oh. You can learn about our show and all the stuff that you. And also now you've been paid in entertainment. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. Dual say Sloan. Oh, Kristen, nice to meet you. Hello. Hi, Andrew, that's cool. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Hi, nice yeah, yeah, to meet you. you. All right. Coleman. All right, rock on. See you guys. Bye. Okay, so now he's kind of entertainment adjacent. Is he? Would he? You just kind of married to him. No, yeah, I okay. Kill her I'm talking about up. you. No, would you I'm go good. Take her? It's all right. He love that girl. <laughs> okay. You don't want to move to Kansas City and date a guy to, who just got divorced? Listen, I ain't trying to break up. He would he, not divorced. He'd be a widow. Well, or, have you ever the, broken up a relationship? No, I've had relationships. No, I've never broken up a relationship. It's like one of my friends has this joke where it's just like me and Jackson was like, I won't. Wreck a, I like I won't wreck a home. I'm not a home wrecker, mm. but I will put a crack in a foundation. Mm. Uh, you kind of send a DM, that. maybe. No, uh. I don't do that. This is the thing. A man will do it for you. Oh yeah. I'm not in a relationship with that lady, but he is. Right. So right. if he wants you, he'll figure it out. Yeah. Well, we want to say thank you for being on our show. Thank it was you for awesome to have me. you. I hope yeah. it was a nice end to your trip in Austin, and it safe was. travels. Thank and you. Name your book one more time so everyone can buy it. Hello, friends. Stories of dating, destiny, and day jobs. There you go. Beautiful. Check out the book. You guys got to read. Go see Dulce on tour. I'm sure you're all over the place all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a whole, if you go to DulceSalon.com, I also have a lip gloss company called Giggle Gloss. So. Whoa. Yep, it's for merch on the road. Oh, you were selling lip gloss on the road now. There's merch, yeah. People Whoa. like it? Yeah, we've been doing really well. That's we've had funny. like um, we've had like 400 online sales and I, me and my mom fill all of them. Wow, oh. mm -hmm. that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Does your mom live near you? And my mom lives with me. That's awesome. Oh. Yeah, so I bought a house, and my mom has her own little place, and my brother has his own spot, so everyone's kind of in the same. So you guys brought your family together. Mm -hmm. That's really a cat special. cat and a dog. Wow. wow. All right. Great. There you go. Well, now you know. Thanks for being it. here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. Thank it was really fun. Sir. Thank you. Bye. All right, we're good. Yeah. Shall we call it a day? Yeah, it's been a really long, exhausting day. We've been all over the city of Austin on pedicabs with our boy Nathan. We had some special guests. We had some yeah. random strangers from the street. All I right. don't want you to hit someone in the face with that. Well, I kind of do. Thank you so much to Patreon for bringing us here to Austin for South by Southwest. It feels similar to every other time in Austin. A little crazier. Like a little Atlanta. more work on Nathan's end. Yeah, Nathan kind of has to work this a This is kind of the most work Nathan's ever done for us. Yeah, Nathan had never worked this hard for us before, but... Yeah, Thank it was fun! You. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to, for, you, for you guys for watching and listening. Thank you, Patreon. Thank and, you. Austin. and Austin. And South by. And South by South by. Bye-bye. Say bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Okay, sometimes the podcast is very fast. Podcast, but fast. Yeah. And we're high. Done with the episode. And, and bye. We're bye. Hello. And, well, I guess bye. bye. Yeah. Sorry, there was no intro this week. Once again, we did a special Patreon thing. You don't get an intro in that situation. It's just mm -hmm. different. We're just doing things differently, which is honestly. Probably how we always should have done it for the YouTube algorithm to not have like two minutes of us talking at the beginning of every video of ours. Mm-hmm. We fucked up. <laughs> but then we've established it and now it feels weird not to have well, it. Well, people yell at us when we don't do I it. I know. You just can't win. You can either have a thousand people who really like you but are mean to you mm -hmm. or a million people who don't care. 
Exactly. And we've chosen to be smaller with people who are mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they get it. They get it, but they hate us. <laughs> it's good to be niche <laughs> and hated. <laughs> yeah. As opposed to broad and kind of forgotten about in a mm -hmm. weird way. Isn't yeah. that weird? Mm-hmm. It's like the, yeah. Anyway. Um, thank you, yeah. Jack. Thank, thank you, you, Jack, Dulce. Conti, and Dulce Sloan. Great guests. So interesting to talk to Jack about all the stuff we talked to him about. So interesting to talk to Dulce. It was just fun, you know? I mean, just being out there on the streets, you know? That's kind of how we do our thing. It is. Perfect weather, too, especially for Austin. Come on! Yeah, it wasn't even that hot. May 7th, we're going to be at the Netflix is a Joke Festival. There's still some tickets available for that. Maybe at this point. I don't know. We're recording this a month before it comes out. So who knows? But at this point in the past, there are tickets available. But they won't be for long. So, you know, go, go, go buy those. Go um, buy those. Rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. Support us on Patreon. There's going to be a bonus Patreon episode with stuff from Dulce and... Jack. Uh, Jack and maybe bonus other interviews. We were out there on the streets for like six hours. There's lots of bonus content. Mm -hmm. $5 a month. Support us. Support the thing that we do. Put all our energy into. We love you guys. Um, it, it, the Patreon truly pays for our editing on this show, which is a mm -hmm. huge help and makes it worth it for us to do this because, you know, we're a small operation. It takes a lot of work and um, we've got to hire people to do that. Yeah. So thank you to our patrons. We really do appreciate y'all. All right. Um, that's it. I think so. Our next episodes are 200th. We've got to figure that out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we got to figure out a special guest. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs>